Welcome to part two of the temperature logger episode. This one is all about the software. Previously we set up the hardware and I recommend you watch that one before you watch this one. So go to the description below in the info box, right click the link, new tab, I'll wait for you to watch it. Welcome back. Now that you've caught up, let's watch part two of the temperature logger episode. Okay, Sean, um, let's switch to the software now. Okay, good. I think we put all this soldering stuff yeah, away. Let's put it aside. And so when you say the software now, what uh, what software are you talking about? Yeah, it's a special software for this device okay. uh, and the, for the sensor. It's written by me. Oh, so written by uh, ben. don't don't touch me too hard for <laughs> the software. I'm not a software developer. I'm sysadmin. Right. Are you going to be making it available? Um, the software yeah, available? Yeah, we will deploy. Uh, we will um, check it in on Git. So okay. On the last episodes, we had some stuff. Okay. So, so check the links of the video if you want to see where you can get the software that we're talking yeah. about. Sure. So um, first, we start the Virtual Studio Code. We've uh, configured it in the last episode. Now we want to make a new, new project. project. So it's project name, we call it temperature. Um, yeah, it's ESP32. Um, we wouldn't find any board here because we built it by ourselves. Yeah. So Something similar. The ESP32 uh, dev module. So okay. it's an expressive chip, so yeah. This is uh, near what we want. Now in the background, like the last time, he will download everything he needs for um, the ESP32. Okay. So, yeah, here's the new project. Um, we create a new, we can rename it. We rename the main CPP to point. I know, so from the Arduino. And yeah, here's the code. I copy this from my text pad. We will provide it on Git. Um, good. So we need some libraries like the last time. Um, if you done the last episode, uh, you have already inside the Arduino chase and the pub sub client and so on. Mm -hmm. If you need them, go here to the platform IO on the libraries and type what you want so you can download them. Right. So here and press install. I don't need to press, I've already installed them. Good. So here's one special thing, the libraries for this temperature sensor don't work really well with the ESP32. No. So we will use a patched one, this one, and there's a big advantage of the um, platform I.O. We can use own libraries without uh, dealing in the file system from the Arduino cool. IDE. So. Here's the lib folder, just go in here and say reveal an explorer, open the folder and just copy in here your library folder. Okay. And if you find something here, he will prefer it every time. Um, if you don't find it here, you will search in the system mm -hmm. libraries. So that's all. So um, let's go to the code put in like last time yeah ses session ID from uh, SSID from wireless the password your MQTT server I only print here random um, yeah 
your MQTT username. I don't want to publish my username no. and so on, so I will uh, fix this later. Uh, your password. So here, here you can set a client ID and the sensor name. The sensor name uh, represents um, the MQTT topic, like the last time we used this. We don't have a, a, a set mm -hmm. pass here like the last time because uh, we don't want to set something to the device, we only want to get data. So okay. we only have a state topic. We have two pins here for the, the Bosch sensor. It's um, the SDA and SCL pin. The, this are these lines we've soldered here. Okay. So I've soldered line uh, 25, uh, pin 25 and 27. So if you use other pins, mm. do it here. So if your sensor wouldn't be found after installation, sometimes um, here, uh, your sensor has another address. So it's uh, mostly 0x77, uh, 76, sorry. Okay. Sometimes you get a sensor with 77. All right. So try it. If it don't work, try this first. This uh, may your solution. Good. Um, that's all. Let's try to compile it. And push the build button. Okay, looks good for me. To flash the software, we need a small adapter. Right. Uh, and some cables. So we put in ground 3.3 volts. The first one is the power pin. Okay. So the second one is the ground pin. So we have made uh, this plan before, so we can look here. Yeah, we can see where we are, yeah. Um, then we have a transfer and a receive pin. Mm. So, and now it's the very important part. So here is transfer and receive. Okay. And here is transfer and receive, and you have to cross them. You, okay. So this transfer goes to this receive. Yeah. And this receive pin goes to this transfer. Okay. So it's a classical serial connection. Right. So we can connect it. And on this device, we have a little button for boot. Okay. So if you want to flash the software, you have two ways to do this. The first way is to make a bridge from uh, GPIO zero to ground, mm -hmm. or the second way on this cool board is to hit the button. Push the boot button. <laughs> so uh, you, you get these devices without these buttons. So right. if you have one without the button, you have to make a bridge on these two pins. So it worked too. Um, the bad part on the button version is you have to press it, put it in, okay. and keep it pressed until you're finished. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so, okay, I keep the button pushed and upload. Looks good. And yeah, now we have to wait until it's finished. And keep pushing the button. Keep pushing. Keep pushing the button. Did you ever watch Lost with there to keep pushing the button? Or is that off topic? <laughs> <laughs> How's your finger doing? Feels not so good. No. <laughs> okay. Um, success. Finished. <laughs> good. Now we can uh, remove the device, uh, pull these cables, and yeah. Now the cool part is this. Okay. The 3D printed temperature logger case. So very nice. 3D printing is really cool. So we can put it in here. So I can show it. It's black. The camera won't we see anything. So he has some okay. nozzles to put this in with this hold. So right. put it in, press it in, and it will hold here. Right. So Very nice. And then we can glue in the battery holder. So and there the you have your is in. unit. We close it and it's fine. So now the battery part, there's something special. Uh, the most people know this uh, 18650 batteries. Mm -hmm. So um, this is not a LiPo, it's a Li 
Fepo, I don't know which is called in American, but it's a special here. It don't has a 3.6 volt like the Lipo. It has a 3.2 volts, so okay. you can use this uh, without any voltage regulators. You can attach it directly to the device okay. and can also save here some power because the voltage regulator has some uh, burn off power. So okay. um, yeah, we use this directly. Um, let's put it in. All right. Okay, Sean. The temperature logger is finished and okay. should already send data. Theoretically. So <laughs> now let's log in to our home assistant. And this is what we set up in our first episode already. So if you want to see how we did that, make a Monday episode one. Yes. So, okay, here's the wake up light from the last episode, the coffee machine switch. So, why is the coffee machine out? Uh, off. That's a good question. Yeah, really good. Where is the coffee and machine? Let's make it on. Um, okay, and now we have to configure some sensors. Okay. So, take putty, connect to the Haspian, log in. Good, we switch to the home, home assistant, dot home assistant. Here we have the config, oh, make it bigger. So we open the configuration file. Yeah. Switch to the end, here's the wake up light from the last episode. And I've made a template for these sensors. So don't have to type all now. Good, put it in here. Okay. Um, it's all the same. Um, we have office temperature, office humidity, office pressure and office voltage. Okay. Um, they all came from a JSON string which this device uh, delivers via MQTT to the home assistant. And now we say uh, this sensor is called office temperature. He reads from office climate data. It's the topic we have uh, built in in the software. Mm -hmm. So the measurement unit is Celsius and here is a value template. It's a JSON value template. So he takes the JSON string and searches for the value temperature. For the next one he searches for humidity okay. and so on for all sensors. With this we have defined four sensors. Write this down and go back to home assistant. Switch to the configuration general. We can check the configuration if all is fine before we restart the system. It's oh, all good. It's well Okay, I've copied all this. <laughs> um, good, restart the system. Okay, here are the new sensors now. Mm -hmm and we have to wait for some data. How often does it check? At the moment it's configured to send every 10 minutes. Okay. So after 10 minutes the device uh, wakes up, mm -hmm. gets the information, sends them via MQTT and going to sleep. So while sleeping it needs minimal power, it's uh, like nothing. Right. So I think 10 minutes is okay. Yeah. You can change it in the code. Um, yeah, you can can show it to you. Uh, here's the code template we have used. Here is a block. It's called um, time the ESP will go to sleep in okay. seconds. So and you can change the uh, At the moment, this is 600 uh, seconds, 10 minutes. Okay, Sean, when we hit the reload button, maybe, uh, yeah, here, we have values. Yeah. So, at the moment, uh, oh. temperature 21.58 okay. Celsius. Uh, sounds okay, here's the battery voltage, it's fully charged. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, the humidity, air pressure and so on we get here, we can, uh, we can click in here, so we get uh, historical values, so we have one value one minute ago. So maybe 
this will make a cool graph yeah. up and down with the measurements. So yeah, every 10 minutes we get a new one. Okay. So yeah, so let's close this and put it, where put it on our shelf. Let's yeah. put it on our shelf amongst so, all the cool stuff um, we have here. This here is not really cool at the moment. No. So I think we can do not one short thing. We can design a group. It's the groups file. Um, yeah, I've already prepared this. So in the groups file, we define a group. sensors so if you need a sensor ID go to the developer tool so everything will be here so you want to see the office humidity okay and second we get the temperature I think air pressure is not that interesting, no. but uh, the sensor delivers it. Done it again. <laughs> okay, here we can give it a name and an icon. And um, if you say a few yes, it get a, a own tab in the navigation. We don't do this now. We, I think we will show this in other episode. So we we'll save this and quit. So we have to reload the groups configuration. Okay. It's not automatically. So reload the groups. And here now we have a cool group. So um, you can define other names. You can uh, make them a little bit more shiny. Yeah. But. But for our purposes, that's fine. Yeah, maybe we make an episode with make all the stuff shiny, so I think yeah. it's not uh, the time today. Yeah. Okay, cool. Excellent, well, that's it. Yeah. We have our temperature logger. We're logging temperature and humidity. Bent, it's been fun as always. Thanks for watching Make a Monday. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.